everyone, welcome back to my channel. So during December, I'm going to be uploading two videos a week until Christmas. I did this last year and I really, really enjoyed making it. So I thought it would be a nice thing to do again this year. So to kick it all off, I am starting December with a gift guide. Now these are gifts that are under 20 pounds that make great stocking fillers or secret something gifts. So some may be more suitable for secret something gifts, others might be more suitable as stocking fillers. So these are ideas. I'm not telling you to go and buy these exact things. These are just ideas. So to kick it all off, pajamas. So these ones are the ones I went for this year. I did include a pair of pajamas last year. These are a different style again, but these are from Primark and I've no idea how much they were. I ripped the price thing off. I think they were maybe about eight to 10 pounds. Like I said, everything is under 20 pounds, if not 15 pounds. So if I don't include a price, you'll know that it's within budget of under 20 pounds. So these ones this year are completely fleecy. They are really thick, really nice for winter, and they just have the word love on them. So the tops are grey and white stripe, and the bottom of them is red with Mickey and Minnie's face and hands on them. So I just thought these here were really nice. They come all nicely packaged up with a nice ribbon around them, and I just thought that would be a really, really nice secret Santa gift. Maybe not a stocking filler, because they're quite big. So gift idea number one, a pair of pajamas, including a few books, and I might put all the books together um, or do them all at the same time kind of thing. So the first book that I want to mention is the book by Louise Pentland, aka Sprinkle of Glitter. This book was released in the summer, I think, and it is the Wild Like Me book. I read this book in a matter of weeks, if not a week and a bit. I absolutely loved it. I think it would make a great Christmas present, especially if somebody really likes to read. This is a great book to read. So people like Sophie Kinsella, Giovanna Fletcher have both written a comment on the back of it because they absolutely love the book. So I can definitely vouch for this, that this is a very, very good book. So obviously it doesn't have to be this book, but a book, a good reading book if the person that you're buying for really likes to read. The next book that I want to include in my gift guide is the Tiny's Christmas book. I received this as a birthday present this year, so you both have already seen this book. Um, again, I haven't really actually sat down to read this book, but from just flicking through of it, I can already tell that I'm gonna love this book. So if you know somebody who is very like me and absolutely loves Christmas, why not give them a book for Christmas? So, Basically, in this there has make, making stuff, baking stuff, and celebrating different Christmas traditions. Things you can start. So there is a page here on how to make luxury hazelnut hot chocolate. So it has a little recipe and a picture to go along with it. I thought that was quite nice. Just different recipes to do with Christmas. Here's one, a chapter on Christmas gifting. Things that you know, secret Santa and stocking gifts. Beauty bath and body gifts, dog biscuits if you have a dog at Christmas time. You know, just different things like that that sort of make Christmas that little bit more special. Especially if somebody absolutely loves Christmas or maybe it's their first time hosting Christmas, this would make a really, really nice gift for that person. Last up on the book front, now these are two of my own books, but I really wanted to include them. These are the Great British Bake Girl cookbooks and in specifically they are the winter kitchen one and the Christmas one. So you can see that I have already highlighted areas that I really, really like. So especially if the person absolutely loves to bake, I don't see why you couldn't give them a cookbook. So this one is obviously very apt for Christmas and this one is more winter themed. So let's see something here that I've highlighted. There, Rudolph's carrot cake, because I, I really like carrot cake. And um, here's another one, let's see, Paul's mince pies, everyone loves a good mince pie, so this is Paul Hollywood's mince pies, so yeah, a good cookbook is, is my idea, and I just happen to have the two Great British Bake Off ones. So that is all the books that I'm going to include in this gift guide. My next gift guide idea is a hat and scarf set. So this is, comes separately, I really wish it came together. 
So this is the hat that I've chosen. I actually picked this up in Sainsbury's of all places. I just absolutely love it. I thought it was beautiful. So it is navy with a sort of fleck of multicolours through it. I'll hold up the hat because it's much easier than the big scarf. And it's obviously turned up at the bottom like this and it's got a big multicolour pom-pom on it. So and the matching scarf, actually this isn't actually a scarf, this is a snood. So it kind of wraps around you like this here, which can be quite nice. So maybe think that for somebody. That is my next gift idea is a nice hat and scarf idea. This obviously post Christmas, we are still in winter. We're still in winter until about the end of February. So people still need hats and scarves to keep them warm. So I think that makes a very, very nice gift. Next on my gift guide is a pack of candles. These are from Yankee Candle. This is a set of five and I believe they are all Christmas related. Yeah, so first one you get in this pack is macaron treats. Then we have star anise and orange, festive cocktail, all is bright and red apple wreath. So this would just make a lovely little stocking filler or a secret Santa gift. This was a really, really reasonable price. I think this was about nine pounds for the size of candle. It's about this size. So perfect little idea. And I definitely know that I would love to have this in my stocking or as a secret Santa gift. The next gift in my gift guide is this. Now this is a mini cinema light box. This is from Primark. These are very popular and I've seen a lot of people have them. The cheapest I find them is from Primark. They had it this size, which is kind of like an A6. Then they had what looked to be sort of an A5 style one, which was eight pounds from memory. And then they had a bigger one, which was approximately like an A4 size for 12 pounds. So there was a range of things, range of these in different sizes for different prices. I picked up the smallest one because I thought this would be good as a stocking filler and of course a secret Santa gift because it was only five pounds so you can include it with something else. So I just thought this would be a really really nice idea for somebody who maybe doesn't have one. I know they're popular, I like them, I definitely know that I would want one. So you get 90 pieces in it so it shows you on the back what all you can get in it. So there's all the letters, hearts, stars, hashtags, all, like different expressions, like exclamation marks, question marks, smiley face, thumbs up, balloons, numbers, little lightning bolt, like little set of lips. So it's actually a really, really good value for five pounds. So that is my next idea. Next up on my gift guide is this from Zoella Beauty. It is the I'm Dreaming of a Bath Filled with Bubbles gift. From memory, this was 14 pounds, I think. I could be very wrong. <laughs> I have such a bad memory when it comes to prices of things. But I thought this would be a super nice secret something gift. So in this you get a small bubble bath, a body lotion, a pair of exfoliating mitts, and a headband, which I think is really, really nice because the headband is has like a bow on it, I think. So this is something that I would definitely really like to have. I think it's beautifully packaged, reasonably priced, and they're things that I would want to have. So I think that would just make a very, very nice gift this year. Obviously there are other Zoella Beauty products that have been released for Christmas, so that is just one idea that I thought would be nice. There are of course other ideas in that range. Next is a notebook and pen idea. This maybe seems a little bit strange to include in a gift guide, but this is something that I actually quite appreciate. I haven't taken the cellophane wrapper off, which is why my light is reflecting on this. So I'm hoping you can see it okay. So this is the book that I've gone for and suddenly it's gone very dark. So it's Cass Kids in and they collaborated with Disney to release a Peter Pan range. So obviously on this book there is Tinkerbell with some floral designs. The price on this was £10 for the notebook. It's an A5 hardback 
notebook and I've bought the pen to go along with it. So that is the pen that works along with it. And I thought that would just be a really, really nice gift as a stocking filler or as a secret something gift. So this is something I like. Jot down notes, plan ideas like videos and things like that. Maybe they could use it as a recipe book to write down favourite recipes. Just anything, somebody who really likes to make notes, jot things down. I think this makes a lovely idea, especially if you can get the book and the pen to match. Kind of similar on the same theme as the Pure Pan range. Oh, dropped it. I picked up the little makeup bag that was released in that range. Again, it's got Tinkerbell on it with some stars and it's in that oil cloth material. And I just thought this was really, really nice. It's small. It's got a silver sort of glittery zip on it with a leather tag. And I thought this was a really, really nice idea. This is small enough that you could fit into a stocking. And I think it's perfect for handbags, things like that, because it is quite small, but you could definitely fit a lot into it because it's kind of boxy. So that is my next gift idea. Basically a makeup bag that's kind of small enough to go fit in a stocking or in a handbag. So this is just the one that I happen to go for. So the next thing I have is actually something I received last year in my stocking and I really wanted to include it this year. I obviously don't have the packet that it came in, but this is my stocking filler idea. It is a Real Techniques by Sam and Nick makeup brush cleaner. I absolutely love this. It's made me like pay more attention as to how I clean my brushes because normally I would just have sort of given a wee fiff under the water and hoped for the best that they were clean. But by using this, so you just attach it to your hand like this and I use baby shampoo to wash my makeup brushes. So I put the baby shampoo onto this and give my brushes a really, really, really good clean using this. I'll actually put a link somewhere up here to the video that I made as to how I clean my makeup brushes if you're interested in that but this features in that but I really thought thought this would make a really really nice stocking filler idea for all those beauty lovers out there. If you can't get this one there are other ones available obviously. I just really like this one because it fits really nicely on your hand and it cleans your brushes really really well. The next item is another one of my own items and I actually received this last year as a secret Santa gift. Thought it would be good to include it this year. So it is a little mini ring light and you can, it's a little clip one so you can attach it onto your phone. If I can find my phone I will show you. So phone and it just clips on like this and it lights up so you can see there. So this makes a perfect stocking filler or secret Santa gift. Excuse me, how rude. So yeah, this is my little stocking filler idea or secret Santa gift. I really like using it. It's handy just to pop in your bag if you're out at night and you want to take some pictures, maybe your phone's not terribly great in the dark. This is this is your solution to it. And finally, the last item in my stocking filler is this. This has taken the world by storm. This is from Primark and it is the chip mug from Beauty and the Beast. It costs five pounds. And I think this is just the cutest thing that you'll ever see. I'll open it um, so that you can see what it looks like. The person who's getting this won't mind that I've opened it. Um, so this is the mug, it's, it is ceramic, so for five pounds this is incredible. I actually picked this up the same day that I went into the Disney store to buy some other Christmas items and the Disney store were selling a similar one like this for ten pounds. But you can pick this up in Primark for five pounds. So if you can get your hands on one of these and you think that the person who wants this would absolutely love it try your hardest. I know that I got picked mine up in Belfast. Belfast haven't had them in stock until last week. So these have been around for quite a while 
but nowhere Belfast just haven't had them until last week. So I very, very thankfully managed to get my hands on one. This is perfect for a stocking filler or a secret Santa gift. It allows you the right, like if you have a budget of £10 for a secret Santa gift, you can include this and something else. So I absolutely love this. It's something that I would absolutely love. I don't know if I would ever use it because it's quite special and quite rare, but it's definitely something that I would love to have. So that is everything that is in my 2017 stocking fillers or gifts under 20 pounds. I really hope that I've given enough ideas for you this year. Like I said, you do not have to buy the exact things that I've bought. These are just ideas to get you into thinking what the person might like for Christmas. So as always, I will leave a link in, in the description bar. So please go and check those out if you are interested in any, in any of those gifts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the Christmas videos that are still to come. Like I said, I'm uploading two a week. So hopefully that should be on a Monday and a Thursday up until Christmas. So make sure you are subscribed and you hit that little bell so that you know whenever the video has gone up. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.